Whatcom County often experiences flooding in the winter, but 2021 was one of the worst on record. Whole communities were flooded, one life was lost, and tens of thousands of animals died. The Nooksack flood caused widespread damage and loss in the Abbotsford area of British Columbia and over $50 million in Whatcom County alone. The Nooksack River suffers from two related problems. In September, 2,500 salmon heading upriver to spawn died because of high river temperature caused by low flow in the river. A short two months later, the river carried far more water than it could hold. Homes, farms, businesses, and communities were destroyed or damaged, but so was important salmon habitat in the river itself. Now the question is, what can be done? Experts agree that climate change will make this problem worse, potentially much worse. Hot summers mean lower river flow, causing fish killing higher river temperatures, while the heavy rains mean lower snowpack and increased flooding. Unless something is done, and soon, the devastation seen in 2021 to fish, farms, and the community will be repeated over and over. The Nooksack River does not have a water shortage problem. It has a water management problem. The question now is, how is the precious water to be managed to help improve salmon runs, control flooding, and make certain there is water for farms and the community? There are many solutions being considered, but there is only one that will solve the twin problems and provide needed water for fish, farms, and families while controlling flooding. One partial solution is sediment management. Removing some of the excess sand and gravel in the river will improve the amount of water during the winter that can safely stay within the river banks. It helps with flooding, but does not increase summer river flow. The sediment will need to be removed on a continuing basis. Another solution is adjusting our dikes and levees. This will help with flooding in some areas, but will increase the flow downstream so that lower reaches of the Nooksack could see much more flooding than they did in 2021. If the dikes and levees incorporate more land to make the river wider, this could help reduce downstream flooding, but considerable farmland would be needed and like sediment management, it would not help increase the flow during the summer needed for fish. The only complete solution that would control flooding, improve fish runs, and protect water for farms in the community is storage. Whatcom County has two very large natural underground water storage systems called aquifers and it may be possible to transfer groundwater to the rivers and streams when most needed for fish. Farmers demonstrated how this could be done in 2017 on the Bertrand Creek. But building water storage infrastructure is the most viable storage solution and is the one that is used on almost all similar river systems in the Pacific Northwest. Located in the upper Nooksack, such reservoirs would hold winter water and protect against flooding, then release that water in the summer and early fall when the water is needed for fish. It would also make certain that the very large supply of groundwater needed for farms in the community would continue to be available. Solutions to floods, fish recovery, and access to precious water for farming in the community are available but it will require the entire community coming together to support these solutions to ensure that we have the attention of our national, state, and local leaders to implement these solutions. Please join the community-wide effort to properly manage our Nooksack River water.